Who's Black Eyes? Is he a superhero? Sort of, but he's real. He won't like it. How do you know? Read it. Try it. Go on. Read. Over the hills and far from any snowy mountains was a boy. He was being raised by his grandma, Minka, in Ghana. Akwesi, what you need for success is already in you. It's a matter of believing in yourself, having the will to work hard and never give up. I will never give up, grandma, never. Those are crazy. That boy is as fast as a rabbit. <laughs> that boy is faster than a rabbit. Akwasi liked to think of himself as a rabbit, running for his life to get away from a hungry lion. Akwasi, why are you running so fast? <laughs> are you crazy? Can't you see the lion? When he was just eight years of age, Akwasi joined his mother in Holland. And over the years, his lion made him strong and fast. One day at a school athletics meet, Akwasi took the baton with his team in last place. He could hear the lion breathing behind him. When he crossed the finish line, he had taken his team all the way to first place. A former Olympian, Sami Monsals, was watching from the stands. It was Sammy who lit the Olympic flame within Akwasi. From this day forth, I shall make the Olympic Games my dream. At 16 years of age, Akwasi became the Dutch national 200-meter champion. But what should have been the starting block for his career became the stumbling block. He was still not a Dutch citizen, so he couldn't travel for competitions. Akwasi's road to the Olympics would not be straight. In 2003, Akwasi's neighbor told him about the Johan Crave School. There he could combine sport and education. Four years later, his dedication paid off and he was named International Student Athlete of the Year. Johan Crave himself presented the award to Akwasi. Congratulations, Akwasi. Don't be afraid to chase your biggest dream. I won't give up, sir. One day, I'll be an Olympian. Akwasi dared to dream, and after 13 long years, he was granted official residency in the Netherlands. He was on course to qualify for London 2012. And then finally, the lion caught him off guard. During training, he ruptured his Achilles tendon. Was his Olympic dream over? While his injury healed, Akwasi went to study at Utah Valley University. He excelled in his business studies and got an honors degree. Utah had something else that would change his life forever. It had snow, ice, and mountains. The Dutch national bobsleigh team was training in Utah, and Akwasi was invited to try his hand as a brakeman. He came within one place of making it to the Sochi Winter Games in 2014. Again, the Olympic flame had flickered and then gone out. For the first time, he started to doubt the Olympics would ever happen for him. Akwasi's wife knew him well. I don't want you to be 99 years old and still whining about your Olympic dreams, so let's do this. She's right, as usual. So he decided to try his hand at a different winter sport. He took part in a skeleton trial. Skeleton races slide headfirst down an icy track at more than 90 miles an hour. He loved it. It was a good run. <laughs> There's no way that lion can catch me now. Akwasi exceeded all expectations and qualified for the 2018 Winter Olympics. He was the first black male skeleton athlete in Olympic history. 
On his helmet, he painted the lion and the rabbit. Sadly, it was no fairy tale ending for Kwasi. He finished in last place. After the Olympics, something had changed within him. He started to feel like he wasn't running away anymore. Be the hunter and not the hunted. I am black eyes, dangerous and fast. On February 29, 2020, Akwasi Frimpong became the first African male to win an elite skeleton race. With that victory, Akwasi was no longer the prey. Now he had become the predator. Akwasi dreamed a new dream. I'll become the first African to win a medal in Winter Olympic history. For Kwasi, he had come to realize that behind every mountain was another one to be climbed. He no longer dreamed just for himself, but for an entire continent. He wanted this for one billion of his African brothers and sisters. He wanted this for the children of Africa. Akwasi thought about his coaches, his wife, his injuries, his long journey, and how far he had come. Most of all, Akwasi thought about his grandma's words. Akwasi, what you need for success is already in you. It's a matter of believing in yourself, having the will to work hard and never give up. I will never give up, Grandma. Never. I will never give up, Grandma. Never. The end. Told you you wouldn't like it. <laughs>